redone this cabinet the other day and I organized it y'all it took me four hours in this bathroom to get everything organized because when Chris retires I can't be buying stuff over and over and overstocking well you can tell right now we've been to Sam's and we bought scrubbing bubbles and I've got seven seven large things of scrubbing bubbles y'all so I don't need no scrubbing bubbles I've got Irish Spring. I'll scoot this over and let y'all see. But you know, I t tell y'all all the time that I use boxes for my organizing. Well, this is an old Mary Kay from when I used to sell Mary Kay boxes. They, their top of the line um, skincare system came in these beautiful pink boxes. And those of you that sell it know what I'm talking about. I love these boxes. I use them to organize with. With that said, this is my number one soap for a redhead or somebody with sensitive skin. If you have kids with eczema, if you have eczema, if you have grandkids with eczema, there's absolutely no soap on the planet that I know of that is completely and truly non-scented like this one. It is called Basis, and I did not flip my camera around again. Y'all, I'm just a creature of habit. B-A-S-I-S -S is the name of it. You can get it at Walmart on the beauty aisle. Um, I love this stuff. I think you can get it at Walgreens and some other places. Um, I buy it in bulk when I can find it, and so I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, because the last time I bought it, I bought it on Amazon, and that way I would have plenty of it. The stuff is wonderful, wonderful. If you've never tried, if you like a soap that is non-scented and you've never used basis, let me just say this and I'm gonna get real right here with you. Ladies and men, body odor, it gets rid of. Some soap seems like they just stir it up, if you know what I mean. Basis cuts it and gets rid of it. It is wonderful, so try it, whatever you do. That's a good thing for y'all to try. But I've got my Bath and Body Works up here. I don't know if any of y'all liked Country Chick, but they discontinued Country Chick, of all things. So when they discontinued it, of course, they marked it down to about $4, and I stocked up three years ago, and I still got some Country Chick. So I've got enough Bath and Body to last me a couple of years, too. And um, I've got my hairspray up here in the top and bends. I have got uh, all my hair stuff from when I had long hair. I've got hair pieces and a couple of wigs in this one. I've got my cotton swabs in the middle. This is all stuff to wrap mama's legs with. This is stuff like if the kids used to, y'all. Our kids played softball and so I was all, I always had band-aids and I always had these real big ones in case they got these big boo-boos. And people loved being at the softball field because they knew if one of their kids fell, even if they were just kids up in the bleachers, I had it covered. You know what I mean? So I've got a um, tub with uh, tape and spray for boo-boos and all that kind of stuff by first aid. And then I've got a tub with absolutely nothing but creams of everything in the world, all different kinds of creams. But this is the top, and then I've got my uh, exam gloves that I use for different things, like when I do my hair or when I help mama or whatever. Uh, but, and then if y'all want to see how I keep my light bulbs, because I get tired of those little things they fall out of, I put them in this little bin right here. So this is my light bulb bin. And I'll scoot all this stuff back over like it's supposed to be. I get up going in the morning, y'all. I'm going to tell you, once it's 5 o'clock, I ain't worth a flip. That's, that's why when I do supper for y'all, you can tell my sheets are down in the bottom of this cabinet. I've got two more shelves, and they're both sheets, okay? Um, and they're all my size sheets for my bedroom, not the kids, because the kids have, have their own cabinet. You should see how pretty my drawers look, even. I work so hard in here. I'll show you them. Look at this. That's my right drawer. It's got my toothpicks in it, which I love. My uh, nail clippers and utensils, and this is like the one for your toenail, and I had to use it the other day because I hadn't grown. The cream I use the most, and this is my uh, scar stuff that's for my neck that I only put on once in a blue moon when I feel like it. But that's all that's in this drawer right here. And this other drawer is my makeup, and it's quite a mess. So, 
but I still have these little compartments in here to separate lip. This is foundation and concealer. This is all lip stuff, and this is all eye. Well, it's kind of mixed up. There's the lip, 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 lip. Lip's my favorite, y'all. And then uh, it's supposed to be eye stuff on this side, but I've got way more lip stuff than eye stuff. Okay, here we go. And then my cabinet's full of crap. Just like a woman. I got enough makeup to last me 10 years and never have to buy another thing. And what do we do? We buy it anyway, don't we? Mm -hmm.